Hey everybody, this is Chris Nelson at Go Engineer, and in today's video we are going over the restraint preview icons for SOLIDWORKS simulation. And if you don't know what fixtures are, it is the parts of your model that you want to have fixed in a certain space, and there's many different ways that you can do fixtures, but I'm going to go over some of the basic ones and show what the icons mean when you place a fixture. So if we come over here, you see fixtures. And if you right click it, then you have all these different options for different fixtures. The first one is fixed geometry. And if I click that, you can see in the preview, it shows what will happen to the fixture. So on this, that face right here, the green face is fixed and the rest of the model is moving based off of that. So if we were to apply a force to the top right here and push down, then it would push the model down, but keep this in place. And fixtures are really important in simulations because it is able to show how forces would be distributed throughout a body, and if nothing is fixed, then a force is just going to push something evenly, and we wouldn't be able to see any strain or displacement or other things. So the first option we have is fixed geometry, and if we do that, if we click on, for example, this cylindrical face right here, and click it, if you look at it, you can see that there are three green arrows, um, one one for each direction in the X, Y, and Z direction. And that means that the model is now fixed in the X, Y, and Z direction based off of this right here. So if we were to place a force right here at the top and push it down, then the entire model would push downwards, but this would stay in place. So the displacement would be more right here. And as you come here, it would be closer to the fixture. So there would be really high stress, but there wouldn't be as much displacement. And that is fixed geometry, but we can show how we can show what the icons use for more advanced fixtures. So if we come back and use a new fixture, for example, we can just come here to advanced fixtures, and there is one for cylindrical faces. So if we click on cylindrical face, then we can manually come down here for translations. And this shows the different directions. And this is super important with the fixtures because we have the radial direction right now. So now that we have clicked that and we look at the area, at the arrows, that means that the model at that point for the fixture is restrained in the direction of the arrow and also in the direction opposing the arrow. So that means that for the cylinder, that where the arrow, that the cylinder is fixed in space based on the surface and it is fixed pushing outwards. If we click the next one, then you can see that now the model cannot spin. Before, the cylinder, the cylinder would stay in space, but it could still spin around. Now it is being locked from spinning around. If we come down again, we have the axial movement, which means that it can no longer move up and down. So now this is fully defined in space the cylinder is fully defined and is fully fixed at this point. And coming back again, we can go back to these fixtures. And to show another one, if we go back to fixed geometry, you can see the roller slider, for example. And you can use the example right here, this little icon, to kind of give you an idea of what the fixture will do. For this one, if we click right here, then the plane will be fixed to that point. And much like the example, the model will be able to rotate around in the X and Y directions, but it is fixed in the Z direction. So we could have that fixed right there, then click the check. And in order for a static analysis to be ran, you need to have a fixture in every direction of some sort, because if you don't, then it won't be able to calculate the forces. So we currently have a fixture running in the Z direction, then we can come back to fixtures. We could do another roller slider. So we could click on this face right here, and that now will constrain it in the Y direction. And lastly, we can click here, which is now being fixed in a combination of the X and Y directions. Once you're happy with that, click the green check mark. And we now have three different fixtures, and everything is fixed at least in some point for the model in each direction, and your analysis is now ready to be run. Lastly, if you would like to modify the way your fixtures appear, go back to your fixture, 
right click, click edit definition, and in the bottom we have symbol settings. So if you click that on the drop down, you can change the color. So we could make for this fixture, we can make the settings red. So now this side panel is red for the fixture icons, and this one's still green. And we can also change the size. The size can go up to 400 or 500. So if I type 400 and press enter, you can make them really big, or you can put them at like 10, or I guess less than 20. So we could make them 20 and make them really small, like that. Just tiny minuscule dots. I hope you found this video useful. If you would like to continue improving your skills with SolidWorks, consider enrolling in one of our classes at Go Engineer.